Hey everyone, Mark Ellis here, your favorite schmo. And in classic schmo's tradition, I just turned in a wonderful piece to Christian Harloff that was recapping the Warner Brothers 2024 upcoming movie slate panel for CinemaCon. And then he asked me to turn the camera the other way. Because, you know, he doesn't give you directions, so what do you say? <laughs> anyway, um, there's a lot of cool movies that I really want to see now. Not all of them I had wanted to see walking into this panel. And I'm looking at you, Furiosa. Was not that excited about it. I didn't like the material I already saw, but then they showed an extended cut, and maybe it helps being on the big, loud screen. It looks awesome. It looks like the tone of Mad Max Fury Road is back. Very excited to see where this movie goes. I'm there opening night now. Joker 2. I don't speak French to you. I mean, I did in eighth grade. Not well. I am very pumped for this movie. I have no idea what the hell it is. How much of this is like some weird fever dream that you're having when you're in a mental institution, Arkham Asylum, I guess. But you have Lady Gaga. You have Joaquin Phoenix back as Joker. He looks just as nutty as the, the first movie. So it's going to be a trip. I'm in. Lock me in. But Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And I just cursed this room. I'm very pumped for this movie. This is the one that I wanted to see going into this the most and walking out of it. I think they got the tone. It's a very tough one to hit. Beetlejuice is a one of a kind kind of movie, but the cast and crew tried to make this new one as close to the way they made the original as humanly possible. Given that you have a whole new cast, as well as Catherine O'Hara, Winona Ryder, and Michael Keaton returning, but Jenna Ortega looks like she just walked on set day one and I understand exactly what it is to be a Dietz and let's do this thing. Willem Dafoe's in it. Willem freaking Dafoe is in it. Very, very jacked on that one. But I'm also going to tell you guys about a movie called Mickey 17 that's directed by Bong Joon Ho, starring Robert Pattinson and Steven Yeun and a host of others. This looks like a crazy possible sleeper hit of 2020. Five comes out in January, and then you have Horizon, Kevin Costner's epic American West sweeping saga. Takes place before, after, around the Civil War in the West. Uh, part one comes out in June. Part two comes out in August. It's going to feel long, so... You know, but it's the it's 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 breathtaking landscapes. It's it's sweeping cinematography. It's a killer score. There's horses. You're probably gonna like it. So will I. Might fall asleep, but then you're gonna wake back up, and then there's hey, it's it's more Costner and stuff in the West. Let's do this. And then we have the Shyamalan. Yeah, M Night Shyamalan is directing a new movie called Trap. I think I already figured out one of the twists, but then later in the just feature I saw, it was like, no, 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 okay, so maybe it wasn't the twist. There's a lot of A twists. What is the twist? It looks awesome. But his daughter, his daughter adapted this novel called The Watcher and accurately titled the movie The Watcher. She directs it as well. It looks like we got a new Shyamalan wonder kind on our hands because it's this weird Irish folklore and it takes place in the woods and I, it's, it's, it's scary, it's creepy, it's crawly. It does everything right, and you got me locked in. So between all those things and this documentary, Super Slash Man, the Christopher Reeve story, it just looks like it's going to be a really cool summer into fall movie season. But I'm also going to say, I know everybody's asking, James Gunn was there virtually. I don't know anything new about Superman. I didn't learn anything. Um, they didn't show a cape. They didn't show a suit. They showed the logo. I don't know if you guys have seen, have they seen, I don't know if you guys have seen that already, but you probably have, or else people would have lost their minds at the actual panel now that I think about it. It looks cool, you know, stands for hope, and I have hope in the future of uh, DC. So, hey, good panel. It was a good panel. It was great being back, and uh, once again, doing something wrong, because Christian didn't tell me the right way to do it. All right, speaking of Joker, I gotta go tell jokes right now. Too nice? Too classy? Probably. Might not go well.